I definitely consider irresponsible stunt riding in public roadways a crime. You know what? Sometimes we get out there and we'll kill the streets, but you know, we got permits. You know, we hey. We kill streets all day long. Hey, the every police. Day. Hey, the police let if us kill the streets. We dude. don't get caught. It's you know? not a crime. Skateboarding is crime, is BMXing a crime? You know, it's just another form of expressing your art, you know? It's uh, what people love to do. This is the real shit. This is some fucking boss of the wall, breaking your ass, being on one wheel, putting in sweat. Maybe it's like biological. We do have sort of ingrained thing to look after ourselves. Mainly because girls are scared to wreck. And I only say that because girls, you're a fucking afraid to fall down. If you weren't, then more of you would do what we do because I've seen a 14-year-old boy with a 14-year-old kid's body do circles and high chairs and tiger screams and, you know, everything. I think people don't take stunt riding seriously because, you know, they see it as uh, very reckless, which it can be. When you have that look at me factor and then you take two look at me kind of people next to each other, there's drama. There's going to be drama. My wheelies are better than your wheelies. Well, my circles are better than your circle. Oh, I can stop you. You know, definitely for a bunch of drama queens. I know a lot of the guys are getting a little upset about that, but you know, it's just, it's evolution of the sport. You know, Super Street Bike wants to be the number one magazine in both stunt riding and custom bikes. I don't care what kind of promoter it is that has to do with stunt bike riding. They like to fuck people over. It's really big in the stunt community. You're told you're supposed to get this much money and they turn around and change it up after you agree on it. So, I think it's bullshit. Change your ways. It takes more balls to go fast, go as fast as you can. Drive up the inside of someone on the corner, try to outbreak them, try to outgas them. Rolling around in the parking lot with no air in your tire, popping wheelies. A week or two of practicing, you've pretty much done it all. We're all putting such hard work into a sport where that we're not seeing anything out of it. I mean, it's you, you pour your, you know, your heart and soul into something, and you get kind of kicked in the nuts afterwards. I mean, it's. It's hard, you start taking things personally.